Hello everyone, welcome to Fableheim and Songs of Silence. A demo. Songs of Silence is an upcoming kingdom management, hero development, auto battle, strategy game. It's a lot of words, but uh, all of those things interest me, so I thought it'd be fun to take a look at. Songs of Silence had a demo. It was up for one of the previous Steam Next Fest, but it was taken down to release a brand new demo, and I was provided the opportunity to take a look at it before its release on March 20. Six. The game itself will be releasing into Early Access in May, I believe May 23rd of 2024, so let's see how interesting it truly is. I'll be learning alongside you, so hopefully it doesn't go too poorly. I believe for the demo there is just this first mission, which would make sense. The Siege of Elbin. After the destruction of her home, Queen Lorelei of Erringon is seeking a safe haven for a ragtag group of survivors. In the allied realm of Elbin, the refugees are drawn into a brutal war caused by the slowly encroaching silence. Doom upon all the world. But of course, we're going to try and prevent that. Not my usual, but that's okay. Give us an I will never forget the last days of Erengard. The day the purgatory came. The day our homeland was devoured by silence. The day everything turned to dust. Doom. Okay, so I guess we're just hopping right into it. Um, affected from the combatants become immune to damage. Sure. Oh, that was an AoE. All enemy combatants within range are sucked towards the center. So that will pull those guys in. And then, uh, A, do damage on the range. Sure, that seems great. And then, boom! That was cool. Okay. So I'm supposed to lose this, I hope. Because <laughs> we're going to. Either to save them or to perish by their side. Okay, let's go immunity here. And then, uh, big damage here. This guy is, like, unkillable. Okay. That was fine. Only Three. I remained to protect the survivors of our once mighty kingdom. But in my darkest hours, doubt took hold. How can I lead these people? Where to? Am I really worthy to be their queen? In my moment of despair, a golden light appeared from above. It was Isla, a holy celestial bird who had once guided my mother. I hear you, faithful guardian. Please show us the way. Guided by Isla, Lorelei heads for the Allied Kingdom of Elvin. Her only hope is that Hauser, a loyal friend of her father and aide to Elvin's king, can grant her people sanctuary. That's quite the hope. At long last, At long the, pe last the people of Erengard arrive at their destination, but something's amiss. Elbin's roads, fields, and villages are deserted. An ominous silence hangs thick in the air. A song of silence. Da -da -da. Look, everyone. Isla has found Elbin's capital. If we make haste, we could be there on the morrow. Okay. Alrighty, we're on the world map. Follow Isla to the city in the east. Lorelai must survive something else. Welcome, High Lord, and so your journey begins. Messages like this will help you to learn the game. You can disable or reactivate tutorial messages in the settings menu. Thank you. Moving armies is a fundamental aspect of waging war. Select your army with the left mouse button, then use right-click to move your army. Armies have limited movement points per turn, as shown on the portrait. Now move your army toward the city in the east. Okay. 
Uh, it looks like we have 10 tiles of movement. Let's let it go. WASD to move the camera. And uh, we can attack. Halt! State your name and kingdom! I'm Prince... Queen Lorelei of Erengard. We seek an audience with King Atron. You're an ally of Elben, then, which makes you our enemy. Oh. I mean, they are red. You know what they say about red. Welcome to the battlefield, General. Units behave automatically. Tis your duty to set them up in favorable positions before the battle even begins. Battle cards allow you to directly influence the fight. The knightly charge is ready to use. Drag it onto an enemy unit to charge. Can check out the card's tooltips to learn what they do. The battle is currently paused. You can pause and unpause it at any time via the button in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. Cards played during the pause will execute once the battle commences. Oh, that's neat. So often a cavalry units thunder into the designated area, attacking an enemy. All enemies in their way with five power. Um, do you think I should worry about spears or something? Divine spark, all on combatants within the targeted friendly Units have a 40% chance to be revived. Oh my. Random damage combatants are healed for up to 20 HP. Immediately ends the battle with the retreat of your army. Oh. Who needs a retreat? Alright, we'll try and hit those two. Boom. That was cool. I liked that a lot. <laughs> Imagine I could use that in Warhammer. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't actually kill my cavalry. Um, I don't even know if I need to use this, but I will. That's fine. Heal up our queen. Unfortunately, those guys are going to get into the back line. But we can save them. Am I going to lose them? Might lose them, actually. I have no idea what they were, but... Probably archers. The only thing me losing more likely than cavalry is archers. Elben is at war? Oh, we didn't even get level two. A cold shiver runs down Lorelai's back. She came here for safe shelter. What will become of her people now? Elbin, at war with Friedland. Our situation is even more desperate. I have to hurry. The capital might be in danger. We should end the turn, indeed. So, if I right-click here... Yeah, you guys got bumped. We can move our units about. And it's very important that the archers don't get killed. Can I... Can I help you? In any way? Looks like we have a description for each of the unit types. That's okay. Alright. And we'll end our turn. Maybe they'll tutorial me about that next turn. Who knows. Red, green, world, and blue. Okay. Turn two. Our movement is restored. Let us march to the city. Easy. Lorelei rides with all haste through Silverstein's crowded streets, headed for King Atron's throne room. Her old friend Hauser lowers his mirrored mask and greets Lorelei with a warm yet weary smile. Elvin's monarch is nowhere to be seen. Suspicious. Milady, it's good to see you. Though the skies over Elbin grow dark. What brings you here? I need your help, old man. A purgatory has consumed Erengard. Gods help us. This is grave news indeed. And your parents, your highness? They... I'm queen now. I'm so sorry. I'm sure King Atran will grant you sanctuary. But first, we need to rescue him from Doran Citadel to the north. My people are tired, old man, but... If we must. Thank you, milady. We need to break the siege before the Citadel's defenses are breached. Okay. That's your command. You now have access to a city. You can right-click any army and location to inspect it and get a more detailed look. Inspect your city of Silverstein now by right-clicking it. Okay. This is Lorelei's army, currently inside the city of Silverstein. To learn more about any of your units, right-click them to open their details. Tooltips explain each unit's special ability icons. 
drag and drop units to change their positions. This location also offers a so uh, several recruitment options represented by the grey cards at the bottom. Drag them on empty position to re recruit new units. Recruitment costs resources. Recruit a new unit now. So we get some hearth garden. We can get rangers. Oh, we can get iron sworn, which sounds incredible. How much money do I have? I have 202. Those are my current abilities. Honestly, I feel like I should just get more cavalry. <laughs> are you guys iron sworn? You are. You guys are honor guard. Oh, cool. Actually, maybe I should get... Hmm. Ah, forget it. Let's just get cavalry. Just cavalry it up. So we have some rever reserves here. Ah, they can only be called into battle at, uh... Can I? Hold on. Can I, like, pull them out and then just get new rangers? I can. Should I have done that? I don't know. We'll do it this way. Seems good. I don't know what a garrison is. Units in the garrison slots defend this location. They will stay behind for visiting army leaves. Some units also have the garrison perk. They are spawned from locations with garrisons for free, but cannot leave the garrison slot. You can also leave loot or artifact wagons here. Some artifacts boost locations. Oh, cool. Um, are you guys garrisons? No. Okay. Fair enough. Units in reserve move with the army but cannot participate in battle. Reserve slots are useful to hold loot wagons, artifacts, and units you want to keep safe, like damaged units. You can also bring additional troops to put into your army after suffering losses. Be careful though, loot and artifacts can be stolen if your army is defeated, ambushed, or destroyed. So we have our... Increases the power of friendly knight and cavalry units within range by two. Oh, I see. What is the range? I don't know. <laughs> Every combatant in this unit has a power of six. All attacks have a chance based on... Okay. Fair enough. She's fast, of course. Cards either belong to a hero or a location. Blue cards are called strategy cards. To use them, select a hero or location with the strategy cards while on the map, and all cards will appear in your hand. Drag them onto a target within the indicate range to play them. Strategy cards cost resources. Well, gray cards are called recruitment cards. Inspect a hero or location with recruitment cards to use them. Recruitment costs resources. Red cards are called battle cards and can only be used in a battle. Fair enough. All right, I think we're done. So we are going to want to move out. Can I inspect the city? So the city, of course, those are our friends. We don't want to take the city. We want to inspect the assaulting army. Okay. All right. Are those chickens? Those are chickens. Got some chocobo. I wonder if I can merge armies. Because this guy's a healer. I have a feeling we're going to want to pull him back. What's this? Play on a friendly location to add a permanent temple tower building to the location. As long as the temple tower remains at the location, it increases the income by plus four divine fear per turn. In addition, acolytes of risen of rights become recruitable. Oh. Okay. Does that mean... I'm going to get this next turn. Does that mean I want to... Hmm. Can I put two armies in here? I don't think so. You can now control an additional hero. Hauser is a powerful priest with access to strong summoning and protection abilities. Each hero class in the game plays differently. To select your heroes, you can either left-click their portrait or, uh, or their army on the map. Remember that each hero has their own movement limit per turn. Make good use of all your armies. Two allied heroes can also move 
onto one another to exchange units and artifacts. Oh, I see. So what I want to give a healer... Acolytes of Wrath. Summoning Luminance. Okay. I think I'd want to... Tank one of these guys. Ignores... Tanks ignore one rank of enemy ward per banish. There's a lot going here. Cancels the undying perk of attacked targets for the remainder of the battle. That sounds more important for, um... Or like, uh, for fighting undead, it sounds like. That's what we'll do. Two of your armies have met. You can now freely drag units between them. Each army always has to have one hero. They cannot leave their own army. Gray recruitment cards are to be can be played on both sides, regardless of who owns the card. Ah. Oh. I'm not going to be able to cast that for a while. So I can take... Hmm. I guess we'll want to give one of our cavalry over then. Oh, I do like the idea of having multiple cavalry because she boosts cavalry, right? So that would make a lot of sense. But I also feel like I want a healer. Whatever this person is. I'm worried. <laughs> Our front line is not strong. But that's okay. I'll give it a shot. Alright. So we can take our hero and start moving out. Can't move further. We want you to hang out here in town, I think. All right. Don't forget about me. What, can we move together? I don't think so. What are you saying you should fight this? That seems unwise. But okay. And when I say that seems unwise? Because you're getting run over, bro. Yeah, you're going to die. I mean, the knights are doing superbly well. The luminants are also not dying, which is kind of weird. I feel like knights are just the way. I'm not even sure what a luminant does. But they appear to be basically undying. They're geeky chatting it up. I told you you shouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have even bothered if it wasn't like, don't forget about me. I mean, I'm going to win because the knights are giga chads, but... Don't run away, you craven dog. Alright. Oh. Our high house remains victorious. I feel like you just stole some XP, bro. The soldiers load the spoils of war onto their wagons. Hopefully it will soon be time to rest. Indeed. Yeah, look how much you lost. I am sorry about your parents. I should have been there. I'm glad you weren't. You would have only shared my father's fate. You must be cautious, milady. We can't afford to lose your bloodline. By earning enough battle experience, your hero has gained a level up. Congratulations! While your hero is selected, play the level up card under the hero to earn your rewards. Okay. Find an empty unit not to summon a random lesser celestial unit. Call the least damage combat unit from your army reserves into battle. Smash the celestial meter into the target area, attacking all enemies with five attack power and pushing them away. Driving enemies are stunned. That seems really good. 
You can either choose to unlock a completely new card or upgrade a card already in your possession. Each card can be upgraded twice, becoming more powerful every time. Each hero has access to a different pool of cards depending on their class, so choose wisely. Sometimes you are also rewarded with an increased army capacity. This means you can field more units in battle. How can I not take the fist of the Guiding Star? As Hauser's strength grows, so does the trust of the people. True leadership can inspire a noble house for many generations to come. Okay. We could... Village... What is this? No, yeah, I'll just keep it. Okay. Alright. I wouldn't say that was the most efficient turn I've ever made in my life, but... It was a turn. I think by holding the bridge, the capital will be safe. Although, I'm going to need more units. All right. Let's go. We'll do this to rescue our lady, who is getting bodied over there. Make sure we heal up. And uh, these priests kind of suck. They need to be much closer to the front line with this build. Okay. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Everyone is so freaking wounded. I mean, the art, the rangers are doing okay. Make sure we heal up. Yeah. I don't like these guys. I think I'd rather have the little charge over there. The damage guys, but I think they're dead. <laughs> I think they're dead, so, you know. Is what it is. I mean, now that, you know, these guys have made it to the front line, they're doing well. Because they're like unkillable meat shields. But look how slow they are. The mages to get there. I'm just hoping that the phoenix here is resurrecting models and making it so I don't have to spend an eternity healing. That would be very unfortunate. What even is this? It's a giant tree. You have fought well, have I? Lorelei breathes a sigh of relief. The battle is over. The gods have granted them their mercy once more, and their high house will continue to stand tall. Is that really what I should be saying when I lost a unit? Oh, I lost my front line. <laughs> I mean, I guess the knights are our front line now, right? Hmm. Can't move any further. Okay. All right, Lorelai. Level up. New. Plan a friendly location to add a permanent fort building. As long as the fort remains on the location, it adds one tier of fortified, one tier of garrison, and one tier of regeneration. In addition, star shower catapults and O storm become recruitable. Oh, that's cool. We can also upgrade the nightly charge. Which, considering how much I use it, maybe that's the play. Affected friendly units gain increased movement speed and an offensive power bonus of 1 for 6 seconds. Immediately triggers a charge, even while stuck in melee. Ooh. Take advance. And we got plus 1 capacity. Okay. So this city gives 10 gold and 5 building material. And I, I guess I can play this here? Sure.
And then we can come here. I can give the knights back. Hmm. Okay, okay. Gonna have to wait before I can actually recruit anything useful, though. So we'll bring you guys up one tile to start spamming. And then you can just move back to the city. Okay. And do I have enough money to start recruiting with you? You might as well, right? But what do we recruit is the question. <laughs> We'll get some, um, just get some basic units, I think. Make sure he's safe. Okay. My entire defensive plan with him is just to iron fist anything. It comes my way. We must rescue King Atran without delay. Thank you. Um, so we have one tile left, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into here to heal for one turn and recruit whatever the Celestial thing is. If I can. Oh my, I cannot. Uh, but I can next turn. <laughs> so let's do that. Is it worth it to just we sit here? We have to break this siege before it's too late. I know. So I have one more turn to wait. Are you an Acolyte of the Rites? You are. We're going to wait one more turn. And then I can get these guys, and then we can move out. It doesn't feel great to sit here doing nothing. That's we the truth. cannot true. afford further delay, my lady. The siege. It's true for every game of... Hello? There. I don't know why I couldn't just play it like that. Alright. I hope these guys will be okay. You know what? We can switch them around. Bring you over here. Make you more aesthetically pleasing and let's get to work. Ambush. Indeed. Advance. We're going to charge here. I might lose this unit of knights. We'll see. Wow, even this high up, they're so slow. More damage. Go, go, go. The best defense is a good offense. Can I just put these guys on the front line? It is worth noting that... Um... These guys did not advance towards us. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm thinking about the capacity of the Luminans here. They were ambushed, so they did not advance in our direction. Which, of course, would change the dynamic of this. But that was really easy. The king is safe. Through superior... Though superior in numbers, the invaders cannot compete with Erengard and Elbin's combined will to survive. They were superior in numbers. Invisibly relieved, King Atrin rides forth to meet Lorelai in front of the Citadel. We got him. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be, to be honest. I am forever in your debt, but alas... I must request your assistance one more time. I'm listening. I'm not here to fight. All I want is a new home for my people. The Friedland capital can be that home. Just help me end this war. Then I will oblige. But only for the sake of House Arangard. Hauser, Queen Lorelei will need your support. Go! Attack Sternzicht at once! At your command. What do you mean I'll need his support? Friedland must live! A once proud city 
Many years of conflict have taken their toll on Friedland's capital, Sternsicht. From atop a crumbling battlement, their aging matriarch, Raduin, surveys her kingdom's war efforts. Let us rest or stay close to our healers. You rescued the king, well done. Your army suffered some losses, but do not fret. As long as there are some survivors, a unit can be healed back to its full strength free of charge. To do so, you must leave them inside a location with a supply perk, like this fortress. Each turn, they will restore some of their lost health and fighters. Always try to keep damaged units safe by placing them in your army's reserves. This fortress awful, uh, also offers new recruitment opportunities. Don't forget to rest and refill your armies regularly. Uh, Oathsworn. So we got some knights. Uh, we definitely want... I think I'm going to want to catapult for a siege. That makes sense. But my queen needs to heal. How do I get this to... Um, stability to... Maybe it'll wait in one turn. It'll just happen. I think I need to get... Um, oh, this is level 2. That's cool. I think I need to get a Nose Sworn here. Get an Archer... Or a basic unit as well. Keep our guys safe. And then sure. Okay, this army is fully operational. To an extent, I guess. Who are you? Oh, it's the king. Okay. Your friend's valor has left a deep impression on me, Hauser. She could be a great ally, or an even greater foe. Only time will tell. Oh. That's not suspicious. Well, it's okay. Wouldn't it be funny if he backstabs me? That would be... unfortunate. But funny. Just expect... Oop, I instantly lost... Because the king took his capital back. Alright, we have a lot going on here. We have, like... Settlement here. Settlement here. This said easy win. Huh. Okay. I think I'm gonna want to bring you... Okay, good. So what we'll do is we'll go crush this hamlet um, for free XP and whatnot. And then we can bring the other guy up to make sure we don't get bodied. This healing spell is incredible. Probably just going to carry the game. Like, just go full knights. Why bother with anything else? Full knights, heal them after you charge them to hit every tile. It's actually incredible. And we have infinite chaff because of the luminance. Like, honestly, just replace the archers with another Acolyte of Rights. <laughs> and just spam out my free chaff units and then just have the knights rampaging. That's probably the play. hell is that? So we could pillage. I think I'm just going to chill here. Or I feel the need to pillage. Hauser's down here. He can come make sure this doesn't get taken. I don't know if the AI is going to try and be aggressive or anything. But, um, yeah. It's fine. I build this here? You know what? Why not? I'll build it. I should have a lot of uh, divine favor income now. If this guy has moved close to me and I don't like it. So we click you. 
attack. I don't know who it is, but it's unacceptable. Make sure we get on this guy. He seems to be the boss. We're bodying him in the corner. You'd love to see it. I appear to have one honor guard who's like stuck. Right there. Ow. Oh, no, no, no. That's the retreat button. Don't do that. He's dropping fists on my acolytes. How rude. Well, that'll be fine. I'd bother healing them, but they're all spread out, so... Ow! Hey, don't win. Don't win yet. Okay, there we go. Now you can win. That guy was really tough to kill. The shield units just don't die, and he keeps dropping his fist of fury at me? Bruh. <laughs> Another meaningless victory. You realize that's something that can only be said by the victor, right? Well, good news is I still have seven units, What's so. on your mind, my lady? You've lived this war for years, haven't you? I'm sure there's much to learn. No doubt about it. I'll elaborate later. Alrighty, how wounded are we? I think I'm going to go straight in. I'm just going to go right for it. If I can. Oh, I can't, of course. Hmm. I think he can take this. My army is not good here. Oh, we'll give it a shot. Please. Oh, I was trying to move over water. Can't have that. Don't attack them with our knights. Well. Ah, it is what it is. Don't attack them with our knights. Well, knights instantly dead. It's fine. We have the luminance here. Oop. Okay. It worked out. Only because this guy does a heinous amount of damage. When he connects, anyway. Sorry, knights. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, and you died. A horrible, painful death. So what is this? It's a little treasure goblin. The Golden Eagle. Huh. Increases power for all friendly units in the same army or location by plus one. Bonus is doubled for infantry and guardian units. Oh shit. I need to go bring that to the girl. Oh. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Alrighty. You come out. You. You. This way. It's kind of hard to command them, but that's alright. And you take this. Cowardly beast of burden carrying the army's spoil of war. Okay. So this is carrying my money? Hmm. Should I get the, put the refugees in a town? Alright, well. Oh. It's an ambush. Whose fault do you think that is? These poor guys haven't been able to heal up. Boop. Then get some damage. Get some heals. 
Oh my goodness, the Luminance demolished him. Ah, I wonder if there's a rock, paper, sis rock, paper, scissors system. It's kind of hard to say. A rock, paper, scissors system where like the pole arm, like if there's anti-armor versus armored, or like pole arms versus cavalry, you know, that sort of thing. It'd kind of be good to know. Let them run the craven dogs. So what happened here? Here's your first lesson about this war. Once, Friedland and Elben were allies. But then, four generations ago, Friedland's eastern lands were consumed by silence. So people began migrating west. Food was short. And tempers even shorter. Ah, oh, sucks to suck. Speaking of sucking to suck. <laughs> He's just gonna stand there. Alright, well, some of the luminates. Fist you. Well, pretty well. The chat was surprisingly good. I had very low expectations. But I don't know why he's not taking, like, any damage. There you go. Just one random connection and he fell over. Alright. It's nice having Houster here. It's just, like, my random freaking... My guy. You know? I'm your guy all day to day. Your chum, your steadfast hotelier. He's gonna chase him down at anything. But it gets away from me. Well, I suppose now that this is left, we'll just go bonk him. Alright, we're laying siege. The location is fortified. You must lay siege before you can capture it. Depending on the rank of the location's fortified perk, you must wait for several turns before you can attack. Units with the siege perk can reduce this time. Be careful. While your army looks inwards towards the besieged location, any attack from the outside will result in an ambush. Use cars and additional armies to protect your sieging armies. I see. Can I have another army here? That would be very OP. Alright. We'll just move over here to get ready to move wherever we're needed. Should I be worried about anything else? Don't think so. The Kings is back there hanging out. Whatever this is hasn't done anything. The gates have been breached. Okay. <laughs> And, um, huh. where do we want to go? Probably right here. Here are those archer units. The, the spears did appear to be doing quite a lot of damage. So we moved away from them. We have our luminates fighting them now. For free. It's free real estate. I'm going to be careful with his next charge. Or not, because the luminates are winning. Fair enough. GG. Luminant scary. We shall prevail. Praise the light. Oh, can I not get more experience? Okay. Fair enough. It is a demo after all. Silence devoured Friedland oh. bit by bit. And where silence falls, war is never far behind. Indeed, my lady. Our prospects are grim. I used to think the gods had a plan. Now I'm not so sure. These are desperate times. In desperate times call for district measures. I guess we can level up. So we can get the realm builder as a permanent... A uh, high house building to the location. As long as the high house remains in the location, it increases the income by plus seven gold. 
and the location growth by plus one prosperity. In addition, Rage Storm become recruitable. Oh well, I should do that. Because we um we want to increase the rank of this. So this definitely wants to go here. And because Lorelei can't move, we'll bring in this guy. And now he should be able to recruit anything we desire. Well, let's get one of these guys. Um, it's a random Lester Celestial unit. can't play it here. Do we get, I guess? We got the Luminant Archers. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, I may have to wait one turn before the fortification can go up, so we'll just chill. We have a... Yeah, so he's fortified too. So next turn, I think we can get a catapult. A Jagger. Jaeger? Elite Crossbow Hunters. Wow. Cool. Maybe I can play the Realm Builder here as well. I hope you attack me. I hope you attack me. Attack me. So the... This is a Gestalt. Okay. It appears to have an art. Does it have an artifact? I don't know. So can you recruit? No. Hmm. Wait. Play this location's upgrade card. Oh. Play on this location. Why can I not do this? There we go. Okay. Now we can get a Star Shower Catapult. Um. Sure. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually. Three power. These guys have two power. They shoot accurately, though, which is pretty cool. Alright, we'll bring uh, you here. And we will exchange an Iron Sworn for a Rage Sworn. Because that's cool. And for our eighth unit, we can bring in the Trebuchet. And, hmm. We can exchange our rangers for the luminance, just for funsies, and see how they play, how they pan out. Okay. Seems good. But does that mean I can build up here as well? No. I don't know what that symbol means. Can you build up? Oh, you can. Wow. Level 3 prosperity. My oh my. Alright. Well, let's go slaughter. I'm assuming that this stack is coming for me. So we'll, uh, we'll get a head start here. I wonder if this is friendly fire. This... Ow. Catapult. That would be very unfortunate. I don't think it does. It doesn't look like it. But the faster that I can beat up this guy, the less damage I have to take to the face. More rage. Being pushed around, which is kind of complicating this. He fled the Craven Dog. I remember the old King of Elven from when I was little. He was a kind man. A good man. 
just like father. His wisdom is sorely missed these days, milady. Actually, should I go back and recruit another Rage Sworn? I think I will. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Okay. Who's gonna be? So this is uh, the guy who ran away. This is another stack. Now we have another Rage Sworn. Let's see. How far can you move? Okay, so this guy will go pounce um, this dude. This is it. The silence. That's it. The same blight that devoured my home. Instantly got a kill. Rude. I can summon that shit too, bro. I have a fist of righteous vengeance as well. There needs to be a fast forward mode as well. That'd be a great addition for this game. There we go. Boom. Another meaningless victory. Are you alright, old man? You look worried. I am fine, milady. I just have a lot on my mind lately. Like betrayal? I hope it's not betrayal. That would be very unfortunate. I like how the two heroes are bonking each other back and forth. Boop. Boop, boop. GG. The Rage Sworn remind me of the of Demogriff Knights, and that's why I like him so much. Are they effective? Probably. Let them run. Craven dogs. Alright. I think level 3 is the cap. And I think I'm about to thump this, and then we're going to have to thump this, and then we win. So I'm calling it right now. Alright. Let's get our queen. Who's come begging for mercy? King Atron's loyal cur. You are the one who started this war, but I'll have no qualms ending it once and for all. It's true. This is a two turn siege. I'm assuming my catapult is reducing that time. Um, This looks all nice and chill, so we'll just go deal with this real quick. Uh, my Luminant Archers are in my main stack, but this should be okay. I imagine having this guy's beneficiary. Or beneficial. Kaboom! Maybe. There we go. Don't worry me like that. Game? Making this look like I'm not gonna win it. <laughs> At least not easily. The Rage Sworn have pushed this guy into the corner, and you can't even see him anymore. Wow. That was tough. No wonder there's um the, the Luminance Archers. spreading faster and faster. Now that the Crusade controls purgatories, it'll only get worse. A Crusade? No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. We are fighting for our survival. You of all people should understand. I have heard tales of your valor. We share the same plight. But unlike you, I have the guts to do the right thing. Level two. The, the queen was talking some mad shit. Can you go up to next tier? No. It looks like you are done as well. For sure we'll upgrade this, why not? There ain't. Teachers aren't going. You're healing up. There's nothing really to recruit. I mean... We can recruit our garrison, why not? Alright. 
Oh, you know what I should do? I should go back and put the Iron Sworn in Enough of your reserves. You pillaged our farms, raised our cities to the ground. We only did as we were done by, you sanctimonious fool. Yeah. Of course. Here we go. Ooh, she went straight for the back. All right, let's go support our back line. Um, hmm. This does complicate matters. I suppose the question is, do I just beat the shit out of the queen first, or do I go for the ranged first? Wow. They are doing a number on me. I'm beating the lord, though, which counts for something. I'm not sure what, though. I think I'm about to lose. Wow. This is a tough fight. The Rage Sworn are thick. That's what I've learned here. I might be able to just brute force this with Rage Sworn. Which is hilarious. And very Demogriff Knighty. So we go here. Buff damage. We heal. And now we have to fisticuff it. The free units from the Luminance were really good, but they just got ran over by the enemy cav. I guess that's how the AI feels about it. I've I've learned your suffering, AI. Go here. Buff, heal. The heal's the most important thing, right? I just need to make sure. I kinda of have to stay away from her, don't I? I can't really get tied up in this giant kerfuffle of shields. Oh yeah, good job. <laughs> Iron Sworn will be useful yet. She has so much hell, holy shit. She's so tanky! I mean, can I really complain when I have all the healing in the world? Are you gonna die? I don't suppose you have been told that you're invincible, have you? Um, hello? Lady? Are you actually invincible? There we go. We got hidden. I'm not sure how. There we go, we got her. Heavy, heavy losses. But hey, we made it. We made it in the end, and that's what matters. I told you she was so old, Kev. I like how they're just pushing them around. <laughs> just pushing everything. Damage? No. Push? Yes. All right. The war is finally over. Elbin is at peace. Is it though? Down to four units. So I lost what? The catapult, the celestial archers, and both acolytes? Matriarch Raduin defeated, Friedland's remaining forces rapidly surrender. As the people of Erengard settle into their new home, 
Lorelei dispatches Hauser to brief King Atron. If Elbin stays true to her promise, both royal houses will sign a treaty of friendship before the next dawn. We did it. Elbin's at peace once more. I pray you're right, my lady. Forgive me. Here comes the betrayal. A new hope for peace. We shouldn't waste this opportunity. Two weeks later. Betrayal! Elbin reigns supreme! Yep. What's wrong, old man? I begged King Atron to honor his promise, but he's lost his mind. The paranoid fool cannot be reasoned with. You knew of this, didn't you? You must flee. He marches this way as we speak. And then what? There's nowhere left to go. Isla? You cannot be suggesting what I think you are. By the gods, not the silence. Anywhere but that forsaken place, milady. Isla's right. This betrayal leaves us with no choice. Okay. Conquer the fortress. Two turns remaining. Oh, my army's been resent. Um. I can't recruit anything? There are eight units in your game? Um. Ah. Well, I basically need to... Hmm. <laughs> There is... Do I just go? Fine. Maybe the game will, like, do something. I hope so. Because I've got nothing. Staying in Elben means certain death. Whatever horrors await us in here, we must stay strong. Whatever horrors await, you mean all of the horrors? Because that's what's going to happen here. The fact that my army wasn't refreshed really concerns me. But maybe, maybe it'll be fine. You know, the, the sacred bird uh, doesn't lie, I don't think. I need to make sure these guys don't get to the archers. I didn't even look at my new formations. Okay, here we go. Fat heal. We're cleaning it up. Okay. I mean, this is fine. I don't know why we're doing so much damage to them. Considering how little damage we did before. Just trust the AI, though. You know? The, the holy bird pointed us here. We must believe in the holy bird. It's not like a raven has ever deceived anyone, or that Zinch has ever taken on the form of a raven. Nothing like that, really. I think there's one unit that's just being pushed around. Yeah. This is one unit left. Don't worry, we'll get it. Maybe. There we go. We must break through. Hurry, everybody. I can't get any more experience. Okay. We did it. That was the easiest part of this so far. Victory! Kind of slightly missized. The first chapter of Lorelei's journey draws to a close. Unbroken by Atron's betrayal, she follows Isla towards an uncertain future. The young queen sits straight in her saddle. But she cannot ignore the wide-eyed glances and hushed whispering as she leads her people deeper into the silence. She can only offer a quiet prayer 
that she's made the right decision. Of course, you trust the bird. You trust the bird. So that was the brand new demo for the Songs of Silence. I believe. <laughs> it was uh, the demo I have anyway. If you are interested, the full game is releasing in like two months. You can find a description on the Steam page, or a link to the description of the Steam page down below. This is the full game will contain so much more, according to this. Uh, with full campaign featuring diverse factions of heroes, customizable random maps up for up to six players, two distinct worlds in the void between, artifacts to further customize heroes and locations, complete challenges to unlock new content, three playable factions with unique playstyles, 15 plus playable hero classes, 120 plus different units, 150 plus uh, battle strategic and recruitment cards, and collect the world's knowledge in the Lexicanum. I'm assuming this will be over time because it's going into early access and it will um, slowly develop over the course. But that was Songs of Silence, the demo that was given to me. I hope you enjoyed. Go let me know what you think of the game. Um, I don't think there'd be much more to see if I were to play it again until, you know, later. But uh, I'm interested in picking it up in May. And you let me know if you are as well. Thanks to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to say up to have a channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I will see you around. Bye.